One of my favorite things in the world to do is watch Friends. I know it's been off for years and years. It's not even around, but I still find myself binge watching old episodes. And I was thinking about this today and thinking it's the predictability of the friends in the circle, right? You have Chandler with his quirkiness, Monica with her type A of just everything has to be so neat and tidy and organized. It's Phoebe's ability to make you laugh at her silly songs. Ross always comes in with those smart comments and Joey and him and his food, like it is just so hilarious. And of course, Rachel, she just brings everybody together and it's just such this beautiful, cohesive team of people. And it's why I wanted to come on and share with you today that I have an opportunity for you to find your friends in the content creation space. So if you are thinking about creating your first or your next digital course, I don't want you to miss this opportunity because Amy Porterfield just opened the doors for registration for her course, Confident Bootcamp. And I'm actually offering a special bonus for anyone that registers for the course Course Confident Bootcamp through my special link. So I want you to go to crystalprofit.com forward slash Amy dash bootcamp to register. That's crystalprofit.com forward slash Amy dash bootcamp. And what you're going to find when you get there is I have this special bonus private podcast series. It's called Money Mindset for Creators. So I want you to go register for Amy's bootcamp download the podcast and immediately start listening to it because what this training is set up to do is to help you get your mind right about monetizing your content, making money so that you can fuel your content creation dreams. So go to crystalprofit.com forward slash Amy dash bootcamp to register for course confident. And I cannot wait for you to find your friends and find the people that will be there for you. Do you see what I did there? Yeah. Nice little friends segue connection. Go to crystalprofit.com forward slash Amy dash bootcamp. And I cannot wait to see you inside. Okay. Let's get into today's episode. It's really funny today because I wanted to start this episode of the profit podcast in a similar way that I normally start episodes of The Potty Report. If you did not know this, I have a daily podcast too, which you're gonna find linked in the show notes, but I have The Potty Report and I start every episode saying, welcome back to The Potty Report. And it was weird because I was so getting crossed in my mind that that's how I should start today. So I don't know, I feel like just saying, Hello, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here listening to the podcast today. And I think it's because I've missed you. Yes, you. I have missed you, listener, because if you've been around here for a while, you know that we've recently made some changes in content production schedules and how often we're putting out content. And I'm just not podcasting as much as I once was. And I miss it. Oh my gosh, like I miss it so much. So, I just wanted to start with a warm welcome today and letting you know that I'm so happy that you're here because today we are talking about how to use one theme in all of your weekly content. This is something, if you listen to the previous episode with Jean, shout out Jean from our last episode around how to align your content across platforms She actually brought up a great point, and it's a question that I always get. It's like, well, how do you, you know, kind of carry the same theme through your content without it being overwhelming and without just totally repeating yourself or taking one piece of content and placing it in another place, right? Like, so recording a YouTube video, stripping that audio, putting it on a podcast, using that for sound bites. Like, how do I actually make it to where? I'm creating different types of content or different pieces of content, and I have the same running theme throughout all of it. So this is what we are talking about today. So let's get right to it. 
Welcome to The Profit Podcast, where we teach you how to start, launch, and market your content with confidence. I'm your host, Crystal Profit, and I'm so excited that you're here. Thanks for hanging out with me today, because if you've been trying to figure out the world of content creation, this is the show that will help be your time-saving shortcut. So let's get right to it, shall we? All right, so this is a question that I have gotten a lot, I would say a lot more in the last six to 12 months. And I know it is because our community is evolving, right? We started out here on the Profit Podcast mostly talking to podcasters. And then over time, it was podcasters that were interested and starting an online business, and then creating courses, starting their email list, growing their platforms. And now I've seen just a majority of this audience, y'all are curious about branching your platform into multiple different types of content, whether it's blogging, podcasting, email marketing, YouTube creation, social media. I mean, I could go on and on about all the different types of content. And if you've been around here since we've rebranded a little bit, I said rebranding. I've met, I've said that before to you. That's not really what we've done. We've done some restructuring here at Profit Media on the type of content that we're delivering ever since basically February-ish of 2022 is when we started really looking at our overall strategy. And now we're content strategy. That is literally what we're covering here. We want to help you create content with confidence. That is our purpose. That is our goal. And one of the things that I feel like I got asked a lot in the past, but I couldn't really, I didn't really feel like I had the permission to talk about it because I was trying to be solely focused on podcasters. I didn't want to dilute the message down and talk about multiple platforms if they weren't relevant to podcasters. But again, we have evolved over time and now we are content creators helping you with your content strategy, which is why I think it's super important to talk about a weekly theme, or how if you're going to publish multiple pieces of content, y'all, like I said, I've, I've brought this up before, but for a while I was publishing two podcast episodes here on the Profit Podcast, three YouTube videos. I was sending out a weekly newsletter. I was creating five episodes for the, the Potty Report, as well as putting out daily social posts. It was a lot of content and I would get DMs on Instagram. I would get emails that asked, how are you doing this? How are you tying all of these pieces of content together to where it's a relevant story, basically? I mean, I am I feel like I'm putting words into people's mouths, but that is how I received those questions. You want to know How do you tie it together? How do you make it feel like it's an overall theme and you're not just talking about random topics or you're not just throwing out one strategy and then you're talking about something completely different and then it's just a bunch of mixed messages? How are you overcoming this obstacle? Because I think a lot of content creators, when they first get started, you're just trying to come up with ideas, right? If you're a brand new baby content creator, I'm so glad you're here. You have found the right place. You've found your people. We are going to help you create content with confidence. But I feel like you get into this area of, okay, I've talked about all the things I said I wanted to talk about or that I should talk about, and now I feel like I'm just kind of randomly throwing darts in the dark, and I don't really know how to tie everything together, or I don't know how to talk to my email list the way that I would talk to the people listening to my podcast or my YouTube channel. So all of that to say, I'm going to share with you three things to know to help you decide on the best way to use a theme across your weekly content. Now, like I said, your weekly content can be multiple different things, social posts, podcasts, video, all the things, right? So I want you to keep in mind that this is going to look a little bit different for everybody, but these three things that we're talking about here today will be the same. So number one, let's just dive right in. You have to decide on the theme. You do this 
first. You do this first and foremost. And the reason why is because it's a lot easier to find that through line of what you want the entire weekly content to be about as opposed to creating content and trying to make it fit in a box. And then it feels awkward. It feels hard. It's a little uncomfortable. And this is kind of the same thing that's come up when people ask me about repurposing content. They're like, how do you do that? How do you make it seem so easy? And I'm like, well, you have to flip the traditional repurposing content model on its head. We don't need to think about, oh, I created this podcast episode. Now what can I do with it? We need to, at the beginning stages, ask, how can I use this one piece of content in multiple ways? How can I use this one idea in multiple ways? And it's the same with a theme. So if you're sitting down, you're looking at your content calendar, which by the way, I'll link to a few resources. I have a ton of especially YouTube videos on how I use Asana for my content calendar. So I'll link to those in the show notes, crystalprofit.com forward slash episode 352. It's where you're going to find everything that we're talking about here today. But I love looking at my content calendars and I ask, how can I make my life easier this week? Being a woman in business comes with its own unique set of challenges, but also so many opportunities. We get ahead by leaning in to what makes us different from business as usual. I'm Samantha Hartley, host of Profitable Joyful Consulting, inviting you to a special six-episode series exploring the experience of being a woman in business. You want to hear from women consultants who've hit a million dollars, who sell six-figure engagements, or who've broken their own revenue ceilings? Yeah, those are my clients, and they'll be sharing too. Join me for six must-listen episodes that tackle key challenges for women consultants. Follow Profitable Joyful Consulting on your favorite podcast app. Right? If I'm creating content and I'm looking at what's coming up, I do. I ask to this day, I've been at this for several years now. I say, how can I make my life easier? And it usually comes down to finding a theme. Because whenever I look at a theme across content, I can tie pieces together very easily. And this kind of ties into a repurposing strategy, like what I just talked about right now. I was like, hey, I actually have some YouTube videos that you should go check out. I'm going to link to those in the show notes. That happened very organically. I don't even have that listed in my outline here, but it happens organically because over time, I know I've created content about this. I can link to it in my podcast show notes that will direct you to my YouTube channel, hopefully get you hanging out with me over there, and then we can further our relationship as an audience to creator type of thing. Does that make sense? Like, I hope that you're nodding along right now and you're like, okay, yes, this is this is how the platforms tie together. So when you're asking yourself, well, what is my theme? Like, what should it be? Well, this is where it's gonna totally vary from creator to creator, from the type of content you're creating, whether it's entertaining, it's educational, it's trendy, it's timely, it's evergreen. There's a lot of different ways that you can approach the type of theme, but something that I want you to consider is, are you gonna take one theme and cover it broadly in one piece of your content, right? So let's say a podcast episode. Let's say you're gonna create a 30-minute podcast episode. Well, then maybe you take it to a little bit lighter in a YouTube video. And then maybe you even go even lighter on an Instagram reel. But then maybe you do another deep dive in your emails. This is what I'm saying. Like, it's gonna look so, so different for everybody, but I actually have like a fully... Um, like realized in, in like in real time what this looks like. So for me, I will typically have my YouTube video with the high points, right? So I will start and these go out on Fridays. Like my current uh, calendar for YouTube is I publish a video every Friday. And then from there, it's typically like the five things for this, right? It's very 
action oriented. There's not a lot of fluff. There's not a lot of story because I save that for my podcast episodes. So I'll record my YouTube video. It has all the high points. And then from there, I take that podcast episode with the same theme and I go on a deep dive. I tell stories. I share examples. I give you some teachings. I share all kinds of ideas or strategies that I can't get into in a YouTube video, right? Like I want everything on YouTube to be quick, actionable, because I am assuming, and I know based on my data, that people that are finding me on YouTube, most of them are not subscribed to my channel. They could be brand new to me. So I don't want them saying, and y'all, trust me, if you've been on YouTube (laughs) or if you've seen YouTube comments before, People are pretty much like, hey, lady, it took you six minutes to get to the point to where you plugged in the thing to make it go on so you could talk into it. I literally just read that today. (laughs) I saw a comment that said, she talked for six minutes to tell me how to plug in something. Like YouTube, like y'all are cutthroat, okay? The YouTube fans are cutthroat. They want you just tell me the highlights, get me to the point, solve my problem, give me a solution as quickly as possible. So on YouTube, I try to keep it very straight to the point. And then in podcast, I can go deeper. So whenever I'm doing my brainstorming, my content planning, I'm writing my outlines, if I see too much fluff or too many stories or too many examples, I don't cut it out of my YouTube script. I say, oh, that's better suited for the podcast. It's on theme and it's the same type of content that my podcast audience wants to hear. It's just not well suited for the YouTube platform. And here's another secret. Y'all know I love sharing secrets around here. I will reuse the same script for my podcast and my YouTube. Okay. Like secrets out. I I tell y'all all all the behind the scenes here. Okay. (laughs) I will use the same exact script. But what I will tend to do is I will either go through and highlight or strike through what I'm going to use on YouTube versus a podcast so I can reuse the same thing. This is how I make the theme very seamless from my podcast to my YouTube channel. I can reuse the same script. I just have to adjust it and manipulate it a little bit to fit to the content that I'm creating. Okay, so you're with me. We're still going on this example. So this example journey is I'd create a YouTube video, I'd create a podcast, then I'm sharing this content for the podcast and YouTube in bite-sized clips across social media. This is really important because y'all will ask me, how do I talk about my stuff on social media and how I don't understand what to post? And I'm like, well, just talk about your content. Talk about your content. Talk about... Today on the podcast, we talked about the three things. Here's one of the things. You got to go listen to the podcast for the other two, okay? Here's where you can find it. Go listen. Very, very simple. I think that we often make it a lot more complicated than it needs to be when it comes to creating calls to action and telling people where to go. Just add value. Really, I mean, you can't go wrong if you're leading with value on what you can share on social media about your content, but the ultimate tool, the the ultimate reason why I'm using social media, I should say, right? I'm not going to speak for everybody, but the reason why I use social media is to drive people to my bigger, longer form pieces of content where they're going to find extra value. So that is what I'll do. I'll take snippets of the podcast, of the YouTube, and I put it on social media. And then the last piece of my example is I'm linking to my long form pieces of content in my newsletter. Y'all send me so many emails, so many Instagram DMs about like, how do I tie my podcast to my email newsletter? Or you just straight up tell me, Crystal, I haven't sent an email to my list in months. I haven't even sent an, an email to my list in a year. They probably don't even know who I am. If I send an email to them now, they're going to say, who is this? And they're going to unsubscribe. This is a reality. I see this a lot. Like if you're like, oh, that's me. She like, I feel seen. I feel (laughs) attacked right now. I'm coming after you because this is a real thing. This is not just one person. This is multiple people. I will get emails every single Friday. 
every single Friday, I get at least one email that says, thank you so much for this reminder today. I need to send an email to my list. It happens all the time. So going back to our theme today is how do we tie all this into one theme? Well, use the reason why people should go listen to your podcast or go watch your YouTube video or even just go look at what you posted on Instagram. Y'all, it doesn't have to be this groundbreaking, changing someone's life message in an email. My emails aren't. If you're on my email list, you're probably like, Crystal, the stories you share on there are absolutely ridiculous. I've talked about, here's just like, in the last few months, I've talked about camping. I've talked about wind chimes. I have talked about the different like seasonal life changes that we've had. Like it's nothing that's like, I'm not changing the world through my emails, but I'm showing up and emailing my list every single week with something that's valuable to them. And it usually ties into the theme of what my content is about that week. Okay, so all of this to say, number one, the first step of the process is you have to decide what is your theme going to be. And then from there, you have to make sure that everything you publish for that week rolls up into this umbrella theme topic that you're going to cover. If you're struggling with content creation on multiple platforms, this will make your life so much easier. So, so much easier because you're not like trying to share on an Instagram story and you're like, wait, what was my podcast about? Because it was different than my YouTube, which is different than what was on my email list, which is different than what I was gonna post on LinkedIn. Like, no, 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 none of that. If you're doing that, you're complicating your life for no reason. Like if, if you want a surefire way to make your content creation journey easier, then I want to see you applying a weekly theme to your content. And maybe we'll have to have a follow-up podcast episode that's just about selecting a theme for the different categories of content creators that are out there. So I'm going to put a pin in that right now and just... I'm, I know y'all are going to remind me that you want to talk about it. I'm almost thinking that this should be like a coaching call series where you leave me a message and we can play audio files for the different themes that are out there and I can answer your questions that way. So I'm actually going to link to my pod inbox page and I'm going to put something on there because I yes, if you have a question about your specific theme and you want it to be on the podcast, I encourage you, go to the show notes, crystalprofit.com forward slash episode 352. You're going to find a link to my pod inbox page where you can leave me a voice memo and have it air on the podcast. So if that's you, if you're interested in learning more about themes, I want you to do that. You're going to have all the instructions, everything you need to know. I even have a tutorial video on how to do this, y'all. Okay, so I want you I want you using it. Let's move on to number two. So we covered the first thing you got to talk about is deciding on your theme. The next thing is you have to decide, are you going to repurpose the content across all of your platforms or are you going to connect them all together organically? Now, I have a very specific example of this. So if you were going to share five ideas in a YouTube video, then you want to take one idea, just one. You have five, right? I'm, I'm assuming you have five ideas I'm sharing in a YouTube video. You could take one of those ideas and share it in a podcast episode, but go really deep. Again, going back to what we talked about, ideas, stories, teachings, examples. You could share so much more in a podcast episode. Or you could create five individual podcast episodes instead of one long one. So there's a few different ways that you can look at this from a repurposing standpoint, but I want to just throw out a few ideas for you to kind of get the juices flowing, like get a little creative on what you can do to string a theme throughout all of your content, because I think it's really important that I don't just give you a template. Templates don't work, y'all. I mean, I can tell you, do this, A plus B equals C, 
every single time, but you and I both know that's not how it works. Like even templates that I get, I tweak them, I look at them and I say, okay, like, well, that's kind of good, but let me put my own spin on it. Or that's a great idea. That's the beginning of a good idea. Let me put my little magic zhuzh on it and then I'll make it something my own. But I just want to throw out multiple ideas because long form pieces of content will work great for some of you. But some of y'all are like, I need the short form. I need the multiple episodes. Crystal, summer is coming up and I have my kids at home all summer and I need to fill up this content calendar. Well, then that's a great opportunity for you to take those five ideas and break it down instead of one long episode, you create five smaller individual episodes, and then there you go. You have five weeks of podcast episodes instead of one long one, even if they're shorter. Even if they're shorter, it's totally fine. I actually have Amy. She is, uh, she's been a longtime member of this community, and we've had multiple conversations back and forth about her podcast, about the different aspects of her business and her online creation journey. And I remember we've talked so many times about summertime. And she told me last year, she was like, you know what? I think I'm going to make some of my episodes shorter because that's what's going to work best for my schedule in the summer because it was so busy with her kids and all the things that they had going on. And it worked out beautifully. And Her audience didn't come after her with pitchforks and say, what are you doing? We want you to go back to the way you were doing it. They were totally fine with it. So even if you have to adjust for a little bit based on what's going on personally in your life, I have another great uh, episode that's all about scheduling and all about content calendars that I'll link to in the show notes as well. But I just want to throw out, like I said, multiple ideas to get you thinking about content in a fresh way. That way you can see opportunities that maybe you didn't see before. All right, so that was number two. Number one, remember we said deciding on a theme. Number two, you have to decide, are you gonna repurpose content across all of your platforms, meaning use that podcast, live stream, whatever you did, and use it across all the different places. Maybe you're gonna splice down one long YouTube video and turn it into multiple pieces of content. Totally fine, by the way. Or are you gonna create one episode and then maybe chop it up into five individual episodes. Neither one of these are wrong answers, okay? There are no wrong answers here. The last thing that I wanna talk about is really just reiterating examples from my own content. And I am gonna link to, and this is why this was my number three, because I'm like, well, I don't really have anything new to share, except I am going to be sharing examples of this in my show notes. So again, crystalprofit.com forward slash episode 352. If you want to see like a living example of how I do this, I want you to go see it. I'm going to put an example of a podcast episode, a YouTube video, and a weekly email. If you didn't know this, this is super cool uh, with ConvertKit. This is the email service provider I've been using forever. Yes, I'm an affiliate. You can go to crystalprofit.com forward slash ConvertKit. I sing their praises all the time. I've been using them since 2017. So we have a long standing relationship. I absolutely love ConvertKit. But what's really cool is I can go back and find old emails and I can share them so you can see them. Like, I don't have to go back and say, oh, give me your email address. Like I can share you a link of exactly what that email looks like. And that's what I'm gonna do because I think that that's gonna be the most helpful because even if you're on my email list, maybe you don't see all of the different things when they're happening in a week's time, but I wanna give you a living example. I want you to see the podcast that was, you know, a long form piece of content turned into a YouTube video mentioned in a newsletter and then shared on social media. I'm gonna show it because I know this audience and I know that you are visual people, you work really well with examples and you appreciate the fact that I can tie everything together in a way that makes logical sense to you and is also doable. Because whenever it comes to creating content with confidence, it's all about making it less overwhelming making it doable, and making it fit in your schedule realistically. 
Because at the end of the day, oh my gosh, I've seen so, just so much bad advice, (laughs) so much bad advice out there when it comes to batching and repurposing and it all leads to burnout. At the end of the day, the advice that I see out there leads to burnout. And that is not what I want for you. Nobody in this community, we are a burnout free zone. It is not happening around here. So I want you to see a living example of how this can be done, how you can make it work and how if you're thinking about doing this, adding platforms in that you haven't done before, I want to show you how you can ease into it. You don't have to jump in into the deep end, which is what I typically tend to do, but I know that's not everybody's style. Some of you want to dip your toe in the water and ease in slowly so you don't feel like you're drowning, which I think is like, let's let's be honest, it's probably the best approach. It's probably the best way to go about it. But all right, so we are wrapping up. That's all I had to share with you today. So again, number one, you have to decide on your theme. Number two, you have to decide, are you going to repurpose your content or are you going to connect everything together organically, right? You're going to use that one long form piece of content, break it down, or are you just going to connect everything together? And then number three, you have to go to the show notes to see the living example of how this works. So let me tell you that one more time. The show notes for today's episode are crystalprofit.com forward slash episode 352. But that's all I have for you today. So if this is your first time tuning in, what a great episode. I am so happy that you are here today. Make sure you hit the subscribe or follow button wherever you are listening to this podcast. And I would love it if you would take a screenshot and share with me on Instagram what your number one takeaway was. You can tag me. I'm at Crystal Profit TX. That's Crystal with a K. Profit is two Fs and two Ts. TX like this Texas twang that you hear on this podcast. And as always, remember, keep it up. We all have to start somewhere. Hey, Profit Podcast listeners. Thanks for sticking around a little bit after the episode to hear this special message because I want to hear from you. We are starting a new segment called fan mail shout outs. And I want to hear from you and I want to hear your questions. What do you want to know? What questions have you been dying to ask me? So here's how to make this happen. Go to the app where you're listening to this podcast right now. Go there. I'll wait a second. Okay. Now, once you're there, you're going to see a hyperlink at the top of the episode description that says, send crystal a text message. And that's all I want you to do. Send me a text. It could be casual, informal. It could be totally anonymous. Or if you want, you can include your name and the name of your podcast or content, wherever you are creating. And I will give you a special shout out in an upcoming episode. So again, go to the show notes for where you're listening to this episode right now. And it will say, send Crystal a text message. And I cannot wait to hear from you and give you a shout out in the upcoming segment of fan mail shout outs.